Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Arius, and today we're going to be talking about each and every part of Invitae's cancer business, including how they will attack the massive multi-cancer screening market. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, and leave any video suggestions and feedback in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get into it. On the Q3 earnings call, Invitae gave us a great look into their long-term plans for their cancer business. Long-term, they want to be a provider for every part of a patient's journey with cancer. First, they already have the capability to take a look at patients' hereditary cancer risk with their hereditary risk assays, which you can order via Invitae's website. This is step one to look at a patient's genetic risk to develop cancer. From this, you can determine the frequency and perhaps the specific type of screening for step two. Invitae does not yet offer this yet. However, non-invasive pan-cancer screening will be the biggest value driver for Invitae going forward, and it's not even close. A little later in the video, in slides seven and eight, we'll get into exactly what the potential is for this market revenue-wise, and why I think Invitae has the best chance to be successful in this market long-term. Back to non-invasive multi-cancer screening, or sometimes referred to as liquid biopsy, is the ability to take a blood trough from a patient and then look at small fragments of CT DNA circulating in the patient's blood. These CT DNA fragments are released into the blood by tumors, and the challenge is reliably finding them and then classifying them to what type of cancer they are. This tool, if fully realized, has the potential to be one of the greatest life-saving medical devices of modern times. ARK Invest estimates that it could save over 60,000 lives per year in the U.S. alone because cancer survivor rates are much higher when the cancer is caught early while it is still localized. To give you an idea of how much less deadly these can be, this is a slide from ARK Invest's Big Ideas 2021 report. As you can see, the 59% of cases where cancer is caught when it is still localized only account for 17% of the mortality. Cases where cancer was regionalized accounted for 24% of the cases and 20 percent of the mortality, so about proportional. However, metastasized cancer, meaning it is spread throughout the body, only accounted for 17% of cases, but a whopping 55% of mortality. In broad strokes, it would be better to catch cancer while it's still in the localized form, and this would lead to better survival rates. To do this, each year or more frequently if someone has a higher risk of cancer, at a regular checkup, a blood draw would be taken and analyzed using this assay to catch cancer in its earliest stages. Invitae will begin assessing how it plans to enter this market later this year, which may leave it slightly behind compared to competitors like Grail, who have been at it since 2015. But as you'll see later on, I still think they have the chance to take a massive chunk of this market. Hopefully, patients never make it to the next step, and cancer is never detected. However, inevitably, some will, and this is where step three in Invitae's offering will come in, where they will take a tissue biopsy and analyze it, and then using this knowledge to determine the best possible treatment for this specific cancer. This portion of the business was largely built out with the Archer DX acquisition and will have many products coming online in the next year or so, as you will see on the next slide. I see an opportunity in this part of the business to develop some real expertise in determining what the best treatment is, especially with many of the new gene editing enabled cancer treatments coming online within the next decade. After this treatment to overcome the cancer, Invite will provide the patient with a personalized cancer monitoring test to be taken via non-invasive blood draw at some frequency, depending on how aggressive their cancer is, that aims to catch the cancer again in its earliest stages. This is a key Trojan horse to develop the multi-cancer screening assay that made up step two, but we will talk much more about this in a few slides. Of course, if cancer is unfortunately detected, they will use another tissue biopsy to find out the best treatment and so on and back through the patient provider cycle. This is another slide from their Q3 earnings deck that shows their pipeline of offerings offerings coming into the cancer sector. The first is an improvement over their current genetic tests by adding polygenic risk score, which is expected to be added by the end of next year. This will be without a doubt an upgrade over the current germline tests and provide them with more data going forward when launched. The next section is diagnosis and prognosis. Variant Plex, which some types will be launched in Q4 of this year and some in Q4 of next year, takes a DNA input to detect and characterize mutations in both blood cancers and solid tumors. Variant Plex, however, will only be available for research only. Fusion Plex DX, however, will be available for a similar purpose but may be prescribed for regular use. FusionPlex will be launching in Q2 of next year in some localities and will continue to roll out for about a year after that. I believe these will be used to understand the response cancer is having to a particular treatment and this will then be used to set up their treatment selection system. However, the use of these products is not entirely clear to me and anyone with more information don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. They also plan to release tumor profiling in Q3 of next year as a lab developed test which I think will also help them in step 3 of finding the best treatment for a patient's particular cancer. These tests will first be become available in the research setting and then will slowly be rolled out to be used in practice. The use of these products will be further accretive for Invitae to set up further offerings in the future as all of the data for how certain cancers respond in certain treatments with certain tumor profiles with patients with a specific genetic profile will be used in combination with AI to later suggest treatments that best fit that specific patient with that specific cancer. The final portion of this slide is Personalized Cancer Monitoring, or PCM, which will be rolling out starting in labs of Q2 of next year to Q2 of 2023 in vitro. We talked a bit a few slides back about how PCM will work, but here it is. 
step by step. First, a patient's cancer sample is taken via tissue biopsy in combination with a blood sample, and both are fully sequenced to create what they call a tumor-specific fingerprint. Next, about 50 tumor-specific variants and indicators are selected to be included in the CT DNA panel. Finally, relapse can be monitored via a minimally invasive blood draw because you have the two data points of what CT DNA fragments let off by the tumor are circulating in the blood, and what was the DNA profile of the tumor itself. From my point of view, if you do this a couple million times, you're going to have a data set that may start to be useful in training your AI model for a multi-cancer screening assay, as you will know what type of cancer you are dealing with and its genetic profile, and what type of CT DNA is in the blood. This will be an extremely complex problem to solve and will thus require mountains of data to attack, and Invitae will have that data. This is why I think Invitae has the best shot at being the first to market with a non-invasive multi-cancer screening assay. Not only that, but they will continue to gather data from a needed product that they are providing to the market that they are being paid for. If this comes to pass, it will be one of the coveted data flywheels that have been so creative to shareholder value in the past, where the provider is getting paid while still collecting data to improve their product. This could bring an unbelievable amount of value to Invitae if they can lower costs enough, which they have a maniacal focus on. Let's try to quantify just how big this opportunity could be using another slide from Arc's Big Ideas. As you can see, as the cost per test falls, the commercial opportunity grows. Invitae has been very clear that one of their goals as a company is to scale genetic testing to reduce costs, which drives further scale to reduce costs and so on. They also have partnered with leaders in certain sequencing technologies to help further lower costs of sequencing. These partnerships along with scale will help Invitae be a leader in lowering cost of goods sold for multi-cancer screening. ARC estimates that this could be a $150 billion market in the US alone by 2025, which is a truly massive market that dwarfs Invitae's current approximately $4 billion market cap. As you can see, Invitae has massive potential in this market, and if they can actualize just a fraction of it, it may turn out to be an excellent investment. Quickly before I get to my conclusion, another slide Invitae included in that Q3 report was this, showing their many studies which they are part of or have access to that will also boost their four into many different products that will require vast amounts of data to develop. Finally, my conclusions. I believe that Invitae will use their scale and diverse business assets to continue to enter and attack the cancer market in a unique way. They will be the only business to have all of these steps integrated into one place, making it easier to acquire a customer and then help them throughout their life. My key takeaway from this research is that they are currently developing and launching products, PCM and FusionPlex in particular, that will be both filling a need in the market and our data collection apparatuses to be used to train Invitae's machine learning algorithms to launch new products, a multi-cancer screening test, and a way to personalize cancer treatment. This will give them a distinct advantage due to the amount of data they are able to gather and has drastically bolstered my confidence in the value of Invitae long term. Finally, I've been loading the boat on Invitae with this recent crash. It's now my third biggest position, even with it 70% off from all time. Highs. I have also over doubled my share count of Invite shares since my first video, which I'll link in the description, and I even own a couple of leaps on Invite. At this point, they'll probably expire worthless, but I thought it was provided a solid risk return when I bought them. Invite is without a doubt one of the most beaten down stocks in the market, and the lower it goes without any real bad news, the more bullish I get. Thanks for watching. What do you think of the potential of Invite's cancer business? How are they positioned going forward? Do you like this type of more technical, in depth video? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. My goal is to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. I'd love to have you along for the ride. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.